I was originally born in Opelika, Alabama. Um, moved to Columbus, Georgia for some time and uh, stayed there for a couple years. And uh, uh, I eventually moved back to Alabama to Lynette where I played football for my four years in high school. Uh, you know, they really bridged me to the athlete that I am today. Uh, what people really don't know is um, from like, I, we never had money to afford for like Little League, so I never got to play Little League. And you know, sixth and seventh grade, I got cut from all sports. So you know, eighth grade is when I finally made the football team and track team, and um, it really started from there. So I'm really proud from where I came from. Cause you know, a lot of people don't make it that far even from Pee Wee. Championships at Lynette, I mean, that's what the coach embedded in this. You know, they always have a championship mentality. You know, workouts was basically like college workouts. So, you know, we had that mindset to come in every day. Like, you know, you want to be at that level. You want to play, you know, achieve that goal that you got to come and work and compete every day with each other. And, you know, just um, all negativity go away. You know, you focus on your goal, your schoolwork, and, you know, respect your coaches and always work hard. So, you know, I mean, championships, they came, we just, everything what the coach did, said that we did. So, you know, that led us to multiple championships and their championship mentality, you know, and we embedded that into the younger generation that's coming up. They still win championships now, so, you know, it just keep going on and on. It was bittersweet. Uh, winning the state championship in football was very bittersweet. I mean, playing in University of Alabama Stadium in high school and just the trip up there, how you got treated and being in the locker room and, you know, seeing all like the great players up there like Derrick here and all that stuff. It was just, it was great. I mean, then it was like, it's kind of like an NFL game. I mean, it started snowing and when we first woke up and it was like, the snow was so thick and then it was just like crazy and, and then like, I don't know, it, it was, it was like, uh, it, it was just a one, one lifetime experience. Like, it, it, was nothing, it, was nothing, it was no better feeling than that, winning state in the University of Alabama. I'm an Alabama fan as well. So, you know, winning that was just, it was great. I mean, from start to finish, you know, we started out struggling, but you know, we always fight through adversity. And you know, we came out with the victory. And it was just, it was everything that you ever imagined. I chose you and that because, you know, the coaches made it feel like home and uh, they basically came and got me and brought me up on a visit and showed me around and they really uh, made it like a promising place to come, you know, just to get my education and as well play Division One football. It was one of my main goals coming out of high school and, you know, them making the transition made it um, easier as well. Uh, my favorite thing about you and that outside of football is probably me and um, my friends, which I really call my brothers, you know, the running back group, we were, we were very tight knit, you know, I, my family is their family and their family is my family, you know, we call each other mothers, like, for instance, like Tyler Price and um, Ron Toss and Jason Carson, like, if they mother come here, like, I be like, hey, mom, and you know, they do the same thing with my mom, so, you know, it's just like, it's things like that, you know, they're just something we take. And just, we won't take stuff like that for granted. Like, you know, it's very rare to find people like that. So that's probably like the best part, just me and my friend. My name is Jawan Howe and I play football for the University of North Alabama.